What's cracking, fam? What's cracking? It's your boy, Unk No Punk. Unk No Punk with no show one just for you, you know what I'm saying? No show the better feel little topics, you know how I do. We get a topic and run through it real fast, real fast. Never sue surf. Huh? Since us five years. Since us five years. Huh? Conspiracy, firearms, and ammunition. I think the young brother is very lucky. He must have a good lawyer if you only got five years. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, sue surf, sit down and rest, do your push ups, read some books, and come back out stronger. He's not so old. He can do five and come back out. And and still be inside a rap game, make his money, and go legit, you know what I'm saying? And go legit. And don't be like, um, what's this comedian? The female comedian out there who was rocking with Kevin Hart. Um, T Tiffany Haddish, the Eritrean girl. Yeah, Eritrean girl, Tiffany Haddish. But I said, for the second time with DUI, he said, five o'clock in the morning, she slumped over the goddamn stairwell in the middle of the goddamn intersection, just drunk. The second time doing this here. This female is a lush. She's a lush. She has problems. She's not a poor girl. Why can't you get your taxi or Uber or something like that? There, or someone to drive you home who really care about you, who you was drinking with. Mm, real shame there. We just hope that she don't um, start driving and kill somebody or kill her damn self. You know what I'm saying? She need, she needs some help. Yeah, she do need some help here. Two times DUI. Uh, it's not looking too good on her. That damn sure it's not looking too good on her. You know what I'm saying? And what about um, T.I., yeah? standing on business, yeah, standing on business out in the ATL, kicking up some ruckus out there, kicking up some ruckus out there. You got some people out there, I know he said they, oh, y'all from here? He don't know some, maybe from some out-of-towners. There may be some New Yorkers, you know what I'm saying, coming down. You got some New Yorkers out there. You even got Bronx Day down in Atlanta. So, therefore, it could be them. I don't know. He didn't know they from there. They're giving shows, you know. Promoting him with his face and his son on there, on flyers, you know what I'm saying, trying to make money. But T.I. shut that down. He was standing on business. You know, he went there and said, hey, y'all can't be um, promoting clubs, shows in there, using my face and my son. He said, I want my money. I want my cut. I want it all. He said, there's going to be no kind of dance tonight, no beer drinking, no more party tonight. I'm shutting it down. And I think he probably did shut it down. What y'all feel about that? I feel that he was correct. If you got the power enough to go out there and you know, stop that shit there, it should have been done. It should have been done. You know what I'm saying? He could be just using somebody's face and their child. You know what I'm saying? He's not a child, but still, to him, that's his child. And put him on posters, you know, making money for that. And they're not getting a cut. Nah, nah, nah. It can't be that way. Damn sure it cannot be that way. And you see, uh, what's this girl named Mom? Uh, Kosha, Keisha, Keisha, some shit there. Joe Smith's um, wife. Not his ex-wife, his wife. She made the OnlyFans page there. You know what I'm saying? Homeboy said he's not mad that she made the OnlyFans page. He is mad because she didn't let him know. This dude's a real sucker, he is. He's a real sucker. No matter what. You cannot turn a home into a housewife. You knew she was a porn star. So that's in her nature right there. If she ain't got no money, she ain't got no education, maybe. You know what I'm saying? So what you think she's going to do? She's going to use her body, sexually wise, you know what I'm saying? If it comes like that, she's doing OnlyFans, will sit down and talk mess about him, you know, videotape him, go on um, it is what it is with Cam and the boys, talk mess about him, really just, eh, ain't act like she's a, a strong woman, like a strong wife, right? And um, go on and then massaging Cam, give him a massage on TV and shit there. Come on, man, this, she's for the streets. She's been for the streets. She's never, never been put inside the goddamn mansion. See, these little young dumb dudes there. He was young, had that money at playing basketball. He probably met us out of strip clubs and shit like that there. He didn't give a goddamn. Unless you had that little bias of fake tits, he was happy. Because all these dudes, they were, before basketball, they was never suckers. They were suckers. They wasn't getting no females just because they got inside of the basketball game. Now, females knowing their schedules. Like, oh, they're going to be inside this this um, playing ball here tonight. They're going to be at this club. And they dress up, do, 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 get them chests up and they put them in and run out and try to you know, catch them something. You know what I'm saying? Can't blame them for that, dear. But it's up to the stupid dudes out there who's catching these whores and trying to make them housewives. And they come out the whore, come back out of them. When the money get low, and they're like, huh? Like, what's up? She was a whore. She's not going to sit there and starve. <laughs> She's going to She's going to do something. Just like his wife is. Not telling him. I was out here, but that telling or not telling. Now, you wouldn't I would never allow that. It's time to get, get away from that motherfucker. Time to divorce this whole ass. Because she'll do anything for money. 
you do anything for money. I'm sure she probably slept around and did a lot of things, you know, because that's why the way she acts. So and I'm lot by like, so what? So what? So what? I said, a lot of dudes is better men than me, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm really that bitch we beat them on women and stuff like that. But um, there's a goddamn barrier to some things. It's like, yo, I would not stand that there. You are my woman, you are my wife, and therefore you want only fans showing your showing your vagina, putting toys in there, shit like that. Then I find out on a sneak tip. Of course I'm coming home putting the smack down. I don't give a goddamn. Of course I'm putting the smack down. You can call 911, give a goddamn call 911. I'm putting the smack down, throwing all this shit out the fucking house. Most definitely. You not be around me. But this dude trying to like it can be reconciled, like maybe um maybe we can get back together or things like that. That's why I call him a sucker. That's why I call him a sucker, because you don't know what the hell's doing. She got her only fans for one year. Well she's been doing. Huh? While you at work doing some shit. He ain't got no money no more. His pockets is low. He probably got a little construction job now. You know what I'm saying? Something he don't really want. But she want paper. She want that old basketball money coming in, you know what I'm saying? Flying, taking trips and things like that. She probably been on vacation for a couple of years now. You know? Living check by check there. She said, nah, fuck that. Some shit got to change. You know, some things got to change, fam. You know? That's a wild shit there, fam. Most definitely. Most definitely. And did y'all see the other joint there with um Clubhouse? It was Terrence, Terrence Gangster Williams, the little brother of Baby and Slim. You know what I'm saying? He says um, Baby doesn't talk to him much anymore, but he still loves him. That's his little brother, of course it is. But you have um this guy, Wack 100. They was talking about something, and Wack would come to him, oh, which guy gives me? He always boasting and boasting and boasting and yelling and screaming. It's like, this dude has got them kicking 50 fucking years old. He looks older than me, you know what I'm saying? He old, he, he's old enough to be my son. Old enough to be my son, but look at him. You know what I'm saying? Look at this dude here. Yelling and screaming and hollering. Oh, we always do things like that. We can meet up. We get the fame. Yelling and screaming always there. What's that dude, Jay, Jay Diggs, some shit like that there? What's up that, that, that um squabble there? We don't see nothing. Like, I ain't say about meet up here and do things like that. He called dudes out there, he could beat up something like that over here, or maybe a little nurse up there. Somebody with some stature, with some hands, like, come on, bring it on. He ain't gonna pop up. He ain't gonna pop up, because we saw him fight when he fought them on the white dudes out there, which he did good stand for himself. I gave him big props for that there, but it wasn't no kind of um, Javante Davis type fighting dude. He was like a regular dude, so all that stuff you talking about, nah, making phase on stuff there. Uh, I don't see it. I don't see it. But I'm saying more power to do, more power to do. But I feel that he's wrong for yelling and screaming. It's like you want your attention so much. You want everybody to be on you. You're a grown man. It's like, like something's wrong with this dude here. You know what I'm saying? wrong with him. It's not so bad about um, what, Wack 100. It's Wack 100 gophers on there. It's little, his little biatches on there on his clubhouse with him. When someone tried to talk, whatever the um, to, um Back to whack 100, say something, don't agree, disagree, whatever it is. He got some little chump ass gophers, you know, chill, you know, that's the onion. You know, the California boys talk, they sound real clear and shit, you know what I'm saying? They come from real clear talkers. Yeah, you don't want this, you know, you want these problems, you know what I'm saying? But the squabbles and get your fade, you know what I'm saying? You need to watch your mouth. Talking to them, talking to like that, y'all you know, scream like that. I was like, man, tell him, he kept his cool out there. He kept his cool. He ain't get all goddamn wild because um, these dudes just talking smack like they don't the biggest boxes in the goddamn world doing phase and shit there. Fuck out of here. Word up. Yelling and screaming all the goddamn time. Yelling and screaming out there. Always trying to call someone out for things or what they done. Just do one of them young, yelling and screaming on the goddamn internet there while he's on the bed, you know. He's on the bed, butt cheeks out and shit there. And some female tape of them. What kind of shit that is? That's a little freaky shit to me, too. You know what I'm saying? That's what I believe. But anyway, fan, I'm saying like this here. Watch us, people out here. Watch people you know. Be careful out here. This is the season out here. This is season. You know, it's going to be a lot of merge going on this month, right? If people want some money, you know what I'm saying? They want to buy some presents and shit for their kids and wife and moms and shit like that. So be careful out there. You know what I'm saying? The scam is going to be out there. Anything's going to be out there. Remember back in days... It was a catch my was the fake with the TV joints. Before the TV, the TV was about this goddamn fat. Remember the back in the days around Christmas time, they caught my friend mom's like that. Then they gave her a TV, nothing. There was no tube in there, but a rock in there. He carried her to move. Oh, there's a goddamn rock. So be careful out there. And I'm out there. Peace.